this is the Easy Flash 3 cartridge for Commodore 64. I recently picked this up from Jim Brain's website where I got a lot of other things for Commodore stuff. I've mentioned them in the past. There is an Easy Flash, an earlier Easy Flash. Uh, I don't know what the difference is between the two. I suspect it's just capacity, more slots. Basically, this lets you flash cartridge images and kernel images into the chip inside the Easy Flash cartridge and boot off of it as if it was a cartridge or, or a kernel. Um, so you don't need to switch cartridges and if you're into kernel hacking uh, makes it easy to swap in and out different kernels. This has three buttons on it menu special and reset and they should be relatively self-explanatory um, and it plugs into a standard Commodore 64 slot I don't know if it works in a Commodore 128, I didn't try, and it did not work in my SX-64, but others have had success with their SX-64, uh, so I suspect it's something to do with the not exactly Commodore standard cartridge slot on a SX-64. Anyways, I'm going to plug this into my Commodore 64, where I already have my micro IEC adapter for storing cartridge images and you just plug it into the cartridge and I'll point the monitor, point at the monitor and then turn on the Commodore and this is the Easy Flash menu it's really easy to use, uh, it should be also self-explanatory, you can have eight kernel slots through here and if you wanted I don't have any kernels loaded but if you wanted to boot a kernel you would just press the highlighted number uh, you can have a couple of retro replays and a super snapshot loaded which I don't have I've also got two cartridges loaded there's whatever seven slots here but I've only got two used and you press the button also to launch that so if I wanted to play Radar Rat Race I just press and there's Radar Rat Race. And if I want to go back, press Reset. And there's Omega Race. Press C. And there's Omega Race. Just like that. No, no need to swap the cartridges. It's very easy to use if you want to program a cartridge. I've got the Micro IC adapter loaded with a few cartridge images. So you just press P to program it. And I will write a cartridge to flash. Slot 2 is free. And I'm going to change the drive number. And I have something called the sales demo cartridge. So I'm going to write that to slot 2. And it's not too long. Type, oops, type what it is. Sales. Demo. And it's done. Go to back to the menu and B has sales demo. That's why I press B. There's the sales demo cartridge. I don't have the sound connected, so there's no sound. Uh, but apparently this was a cartridge that uh, dealers would load up on their Commodore 64s to run, you know. Anyways, if I go back to the Easy Flash, it's easy to erase if I wanted to free that slot up. Oops, I meant to program. And I'm going to go to Menu, and I can erase a slot. I'll erase sales demo. And it's done. If I go back to the Easy Flash menu, slot B is ready. And if I want to just go back to uh, regular basic, you can kill cartridge. And there's your Commodore 64. This has got Jiffy DOS installed, so that's the Jiffy DOS startup. 
anyways that is the easy flash 3 cartridge it's a really nice thing to have if you've got a bunch of cartridge images laying around and you don't want to swap in and out thanks for watching